And I want to show you now this uh, clip uh, that went viral. I think Amit Malviya referenced uh, that video. This is Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Shivrat Singh Johan. He is making some kind of an announcement in a meeting. Listen to what he seems to be saying. And that, you know, now you've got a situation where all big national and regional parties have significant uh, social media following, have WhatsApp groups of their own where they can send something out. And the problem with WhatsApp is that you don't, unlike on social media where you can flag who spread it, and WhatsApp is much tougher. So you could spread this in your community, in your echo chamber. The message goes down deep. Listen to Shivrat Singh Johan once again. मैं बार बार कह रहा हूं कमलनाथ को रोको कांग्रेस आ गई तो सबको पंद्रह सौ रुपए महीने और पांच सौ रुपए में गैस देने लगेगी फिर इस बार तो छोड़ो अगली बार भी हमारा जीतना नामुमकिन हो जाएगा हमने तो कुछ लोगों को बारह सौ पचास रुपए दिए हैं वो तो सबको देंगे हमने तो चार सौ पचास रुपए में गैस सिलेंडर का सिर्फ झांसा दिया है वो तो सही में देंगे क्योंकि वो दूसरे प्रदेशों में दे रहे हैं भैया कुछ भी करो पर कमलनाथ को रोको सो इवन इफ दिस इज रोहन गुप्ता ऑफिशियली द कांग्रेस पार्टी it can be argued that maybe somebody leaning towards your point of view has done this. It's highly unlikely that Amit Malviya and his team would put out this kind of a video. So it's obviously someone who doesn't like the BJP who's creating these kind of videos and they are the most prominent examples that have come to light in this campaign, Rohan Gupta. See, Rahul, again I'm telling you, yeah, if anybody as Congress party, we don't believe in uh, this kind of things. And yeah, definitely legal action should be taken against the person who has created it. I just heard Mr. Malviya saying that uh, a lot of Congress uh, people uh, spread it, spread the video. It, they are the workers. Suppose they get something, they'll spread. But you, you should see that who has created it. And what examples I am giving is creating fake news by Mr. Amit Malviya himself. I, have, I am ready to debate. I, I challenge him to debate on the issues where 16 times he has spread the fake news from his Twitter head. Okay, Amit Malviya, so do you buy this argument that it's not as if they created it, but if they found some material Raul, Raul. that is useful to them, as you do often, they used it and they amplified it. That's their job. Yes, go on, Ron, complete your argument. Yes. Raul, I have one question for you. If somebody is aligned to Congress party or somebody who hates Mr. Shivraj Singh Chauhan for not fulfilling the promise and he gets this video on WhatsApp, he virals it. So that's what we have to stop. That is what we are debating. That when these kind of defect technologies are used by anybody, I am saying not about Congress party or by BJP, by anybody, by the time it does the damages, what it is required, what the aim of the video is achieved, okay. we have to take action. So let, let Amit Malviya respond to this, that they are saying we didn't create it. But if uh, we found it, we amplified it, that's what we're supposed to do. We take whatever material we get and we make our point using it. It's part of our material. Look, the Congress spokesperson's innocence in this matter is not going to hide their sin. The fact is that both these videos would have squarely benefited the Congress party. It has been made by the Congress party because, like I said, they have been posted by specific office bearers of the Congress party <coughs> and their official handles were involved in it. I challenge Mr. Malviya to prove it. Therefore, I challenge him. Therefore, I am giving examples of fake news which is created by Mr. Malviya. On the same side, I challenge him to prove that this video is created by Congress Party. That's not fake news. Rahul, can we have the civil conversation? Okay, let let Amit Malviya respond. It is for the agencies like the Election Commission, the policing of the respective states, to figure out where this video is originated from. Technology platforms are duty bound to disclose where the videos have originated from. So the challenge that the Congress spokesperson is posing is not for me to answer, it's for the agencies to take note of and clearly the Election Commission will proceed with the complaints that we've made since there are criminal cases filed against people who have posted it. They will be questioned and naturally they will get to the root cause of where it originated from. So it's just a matter of time the Congress can come on television and pretend that they don't know anything or claim innocence. But the fact is that if there is something that benefits your party and if your office bearers are actively promoting it, then they're as accountable for it as anyone else is. And having said okay. that, there are certain provisions in the law that allow the government, the policing agencies to demand cooperation from these technology platforms and get to the bottom of where it actually originated. So it's not very difficult. The digital trail leaves everybody vulnerable. So the Congress might think that they will get away with it, but they will not. But the issue is when the law catches up, they will claim vendetta, they will play victim, and that's what they do all the time.